up folks welcome back to another episode of this will do farm vlog today this week is, there's going to be a lot of stuff we have to do around the farm because i'm leaving for the ozarks with all my buddies for a good boys guys trip this weekend my family or my parents are going on a cruise to alaska so we got to get a lot of shit done this week and sorry last week i couldn't produce a vlog i was super super sick randomly just got sick and if you know anything about getting sick in the summer it is complete ass because it's hot outside and you're just you're hot and you've got a fever and it just and you want to go outside because it's so nice but you can't because you just feel like crap so it was not a good not a good last week but i'm gonna make up for it the thing on the, this week's list is we had to get the seed corp seed corn plot planted in our field for Syngenta, about 20 acres of seed corn planted here. And that's what my dad's just cultivating right now. Uh, he must have started really early because I was gonna do that job. I really wanted to do that job, but I'm gonna go chore the pigs while he's doing this. And then I'm probably gonna come out here and run this for a while. Beautiful Iowa morning. It's been really, really crappy here in Iowa and pretty much across all the United States. It's been raining and I hate the rain. I'm sick of the rain. All the farmers agree. The rain needs to stop. Got to get our crops in. Luckily, we got all our corn in already, so that's good. But we have none of the beans in, but beans doesn't really matter. You can get those in late. Um, but corn, corn's all in, so that's good. So right now, I'm going to go in here, throw these pigs, then go run that field cultivator. Pretty sure my dad's still running on the field cultivator and if he is it's my turn to get on that thing because i want to do some field work i haven't done much field work in a while so i'm i'm trying to get in that tractor and go Alright, so I just got done field cultivating and now we're going to put the toolbar on the tractor and start side dressing corn because the rain has took the nitrogen levels down a shitload because uh, when it rains a shitload, the nitrogen levels go down below the corn and you got to, the corn needs nitrogen to grow so we're going to side dress corn to put more nitrogen on the corn so it can help grow, make it grow better and faster and the way we want it to go so that's what we're going to do right now i'm going to take a cool cinematic footage of my dad blowing the air filters of this tractor out because we're going to do that before we put on the toolbar and that's what's going to go down right now so enjoy <laughs> So how do you, how does this work? So basically this is just a glorified water pump. It's got a gas engine on it. 
basically it's full of gas. So my fertilizer dealer brought this over. It's full of 28% nitrogen. And uh, when I fire this up, I'll take this hose. I can actually do that right now. Take this off. back up far enough, I don't think, so perhaps back up a little more. Yep, we missed it by that much. Just this much right here. <laughs> I should have pulled around on the other side. I'll back up. So, you pop this cap off. That keeps the dirt out of it. And these, all these fittings that we use are called banjo fittings. That's the name of the company invented them, and they kind of got themselves a pretty good deal because it's pretty much what everybody uses to hook up fertilizer and just about they, anything. They just make a shitload of money. <laughs> well, I don't know if they do, but they got a pretty good, they got a pretty good mousetrap, so everybody uses them. So, I want that valve open, I want this valve open, and then I'm going to go around, I'm going to open the valve on my tank. So that when I get this running, it can suck the nitrogen out of that tank and pump it into that tank. With any luck, this thing's going to start like a million bucks. Fingers crossed. We'll see. It should. So you all get the gist. You gotta put this into that. This nitrogen right here into that. I'll just let him torque explain to you how it goes down because he's the expert and I'm still the kid trying to learn this shit. That was a perfect example of torque explaining something to you guys and me. Something that I didn't know and I think that's just pretty cool about this vlog is like I told you guys in the last one that, you know, I don't know everything about farming. And I didn't know how that really worked because I've never really done that before or seen that before. Um, so it's just cool for you guys to see me learn it while you guys are learning it too if you didn't know that didn't know how to do that already. Usually we don't ever side dress corn because we have enough manure from these hog buildings to really put it on all our all our crops so we usually never have to side dress. We used to back in the old days when we didn't have all these hog buildings but now we now we usually don't but since this year's been such a, a pain in the ass with the rain you know the crops are locked lack of nitrogen so we're gonna put some more on. We're putting roughly like 50 pounds per acre and that tank over there shit I'd say it could do 100 150 acres maybe I don't know honestly I don't really I'm not 100% sure but I know we're putting roughly 50 pounds of nitrogen on per acre you had a shiny little beamer with the rack top down sitting in the drive but you wouldn't get out Dogs were all barking and a wagging around And I just laughed and said, you all get in She had on a new dress and she curled her hair She was looking too good not to go somewhere Said, what you wanna do, baby, I don't care We can go to the show, we can stay right here And I can take you for a ride on my big green tractor We can go slow, or make it go faster Down through the woods out to the pasture, long as I'm with you, it really don't matter. Climb up in my lap and drive if you want to. Girl, you know you got me to hold on to. We can go to town, but baby, if you'd rather, I'll take you for a ride on my big green tractor. So I just got done side dressing. Um, I'm gonna have my dad run it for a little bit because I'm gonna go home and eat. And then gonna come out and get that brush picked up. I'm gonna come back out and get that brush picked up and I might mow a little bit. So now that'll be all the jobs for today. Hope you've liked you like this uh, video so far. If you do give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell to get notified every time I post a video. So I just got back from lunch and I get a phone call from my dad midway through lunch. And he's like, hey, did you run the feed system in the north uh, north building? And I was like, well, yeah, because some of those pigs are out of feed. But, um, well, I'll just show you. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you my huge mistake. So, in this building, we didn't fill this building up all the way. Usually, on a normal, you know, a normal time loading up a building and full of pigs, we would fill all these pens up. And as you can see, none of them are like ready besides the ones with pigs in them. So we didn't do this, we didn't get this whole room ready because these guys weren't here doing these feeder pads. And so we just, since they're little, you can, you know, put them together closer. And we just put approximately like 3,800 in those two, that one 2,400 building over there, because you can do that when they're little. But obviously when they're bigger, we're gonna spread them out and put them in here. And we put about 1,000 in here, okay. so. Eventually, we'll have to get this whole room ready again uh, for when we move them, but that's so we just got these pigs here. But the problem is when the feed system runs, you see these little, uh, can't, you can't really see, when you, when you, these little things control if the feed comes out of the feed line or not. Red means no, no feed's going to come. Green means yeah, let the feed come, okay? Obviously there's no feeder pads so or feeder here, so we don't want no feeder feed to come out of that too. But the end one doesn't have that. So I got my mind going 100,000 miles an hour and I was doing too many things and I was helping my dad with other stuff after I chored and I left this feed system to run to fill up those feeders that were out for those pigs. And I didn't, think to come back and shut it off in time so my dad came and shut it off and I got an ass chewing not really he was actually pretty nice about it but yeah dumbass Sawyer left the feed system on so those so the feed skipped the tubes that had the red things pulled and went to this one and it started pouring out and now I'm gonna have to clean it up and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to flip these feeders so that never happens again. So that way I don't have to worry about them ever, you know, ever, this ever happening again. camera was sitting on was the feeder that goes there so I'm gonna put the feeder on there and then scoop and put it into there because the feeder I was putting more the feed in was right here and it's getting pretty full so I'm gonna put some in there and my camera sitting on there so I'm not I'm not gonna film anymore I just wanted to give a cool time lapse of me just getting it done all right so I just got done with the picking up all the feed on the ground and flip the feeders and I also checked the feed line at this hog, this hog building behind me. If you don't know, the third hog building I chored today, just to make sure that feed line was all good in the hood, and it was. So now we're gonna take this hay rack right here, and we're gonna go over to the fence line, and we're gonna tear out some fence before uh, we plant beans over there. So the reason we took out this fence was it's just getting really, really crappy, and it just need it's been it's been way overdue since this fence has been like replaced or torn out at all. So we're gonna tear it out, and I don't know if we're gonna replace it or not. Well, we probably will. We'll probably get and replace it, but probably not right now. But it's a piece of shit, and we're gonna get rid of it. And that's why we're tearing it out. Um, we just got I just got here with the hay rack. My dad's just chilling in the skid loader. He's probably been sitting here for a minute. Uh, just waiting for my ass because I was doing other stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna do a cool cinematic uh, b-roll footage here of him picking up the fence and us working together <laughs>
some snippers. We, I'm gonna go get some snippers from the pickup garage and come back and we're gonna finish getting this fence up. Snippers required. Now it's back to the field. Get this fence torn out. Then we're good to go. Turns out I did all that work for nothing because the bastard got it all done without, without me. He must have not a need, he didn't need snippers after all. So I just, so I just went and got those snippers for nothing. <sighs> busy, busy day today, finally coming to an end. Got all the pigs chored, started side dressing today. Got the seed corn plot cultivated and it is getting planted right now by Syngenta. Started planting beans, busy day. Complete. Tore out the fence. All completed today. Great freaking vlog. Great day. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I know it's probably going to be a long one. Like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I drop a video. With that being said, thank you so, so, so much for watching again. And I'll see you in the next video.